this game ends up going the distance here. Simply Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to Expedition Lost. We're spawning in the bottom left position as the blue Zerg player, currently 2-1 up in this best of nine. He plays for Samsung. It's Solar. His opponent in the top right position, playing for Root Gaming, and currently 2-1 down, but winning the last game, he's got momentum on his side. It's Hydra. And I've just realized something. It could well be... Oh, it's not. Uh, that there was an issue previously with uh, some form of, uh, of sound toggle where it automatically changes your settings when you get into the game. But it sounds all good from my point of view. So let's go ahead and continue. And, well, I mean, on Expedition Lost, it's a two-player map. Reasonably easy for one player to consider going cheesy over the other. But, uh, we'll wait and see. We have an early drone scout coming in from Solo. Really just wanting to see if anything uh, particularly snazzy is coming out from Hydra at this point. And he will spot, of course, that uh, there hasn't been an early pull or anything of the sort. He's potentially going to be able to block a hatch. So keep an eye on that. No, it's going to be the pool first coming out from Hydra anyway. Sola, with his eyes on the drone, looking to see if there is a drone actually going out to make that hatchery. But there actually isn't. And oh, has he actually moved out slightly too late? Will Hydra be able to get the hatchery down? Well, he hasn't got 300 minerals anyway, so it doesn't look like it. And uh, Hydra now sending two drones to sort of ward this guy away before the hatchery ever goes down. Good amount of zoning out here means the solar won't be able to block it for long, doing a really good job. And there we go, the hatch is going to be able to go down there. We also have the hatchery coming down first for solar back at home. Spawning pool now, about to complete for Hydra. Solar, of course, sees everything with the drone that might be mining from the wrong patch of minerals. And in the meantime, uh, after the hatchery, we actually have the gas first before the pool coming out from Solar. So being very, very economical here, you can see he's squeezed out an extra drone or two. He's also going to be able to get Zergling speed as the spawning pool completes. Of course, he has a much, much later pool, though, and it does mean that the earlier queen is going to go to Hydra. Things will even out, but Solar just squeezing out every single mineral possible in the early game here. And Hydra, by way of compensation, if you like, economically, is going to be going for the gas slightly further afield. And uh, will take a bit longer to get up to that kind of point, but that's fine. In the meantime, all things looking quiet here. The first couple of Zerglings are going to be nibbling away at this hatchery. They won't be able to do significant damage, though. I don't think we're particularly worried. It looks like, ooh, Micro Wars, as a Solar Zergling just about manages to escape with two health. And uh, one of the Zerglings from Hydra does go down. So, uh, first blood there to our Root Gaming player. But no massive differences so far. 21 to 19 in terms of work as Solar slowly starting to catch up on that, of course. Uh, once he gets his Queens and his Inject going as well. And we've got the Zergling speed now partially complete for Solar, but note how it hasn't even started yet for Roots Hydra. And there we go. We'll begin now. So you uh, have a little bit uh, of a, uh, a lag time, shall we say, there. And it means that on the ground his scouting is going to be slightly impeded. But nothing, uh, nothing too troublesome to worry about. So those guys getting killed off as well. We now have the creep starting to be spread by a solar. And he's also going for the lair immediately after this. So are we going to see another roach game? The players have been reasonably comfortable going into that kind of roach v roach situation. And once again we have Hydra going for the roach one before starting his lair here. So I'm starting to notice a little bit of a pattern. And solar in the meantime he opts to go for his lair first. Wants to get that faster roach speed. 
and he then puts the Roche War and an Evolution Chamber down in front. So the players are preferring a slightly different style to each other at this stage of the game. Very nice waddling back by the Queen there. Good positioning from Hydra to prevent that Zoli from coming up and getting a scout as well. And now he starts spreading his creep in earnest because he wants to make sure that he at least has it spread to the third base location. You can see it's going down now. Very shiny and purple actually on the preview there, but there we go. That's going to get popped down. And what does that mean for over here? Well, no third base in sight. And, uh, oh, pardon me, that's because the third base is being taken at the gold, and that's certainly going to get cancelled. There's absolutely no way uh, that that, wow, that drone is pretty lucky right now, I'm going to be honest. A massive amount of uh, Zerglings here trying to end the game very, very early from Hydra. His version of the Speedlings trying to come on in and stop things. A queen looks like she might go down, but there's a good number of roaches here behind to attempt to clean it up. Are there any reinforcements coming out across the map? There aren't. Hydra at the moment, yes, he's producing roaches, but uh, he's not rallying them across the map right now. He's sort of keeping them over here. And uh, as a result, that aggression didn't quite work out for him, unfortunately. Solar, really good defense with the additional buildings, bringing the queens in, knowing that exactly what he had to do as well. That was a kind of knife-edge situation, where if you accidentally don't get a couple of things done, then uh, you lose the game very quickly. But Solar, perhaps guilty of a lapse of concentration a little bit later on, because Hydra is now in his base. We have a couple of roaches here killing off those zerglings as well, but they're able to cause a little bit of harassment damage uh, to the workers. Only the one killed at the moment but he might try come in and pick off another one there's one on very low health inside the mineral line he doesn't look like he's interested at the moment he's running circles around the army and that's because we have a second follow-up attack coming into the natural expansion nothing but zerglings and roaches streaming in from hydra right now is solo gonna be able to hold he pulls all the drones at the start of the engagement he knows it's going to be difficult no gg that's it and solo he calls it Hydra is going to be able to make it 2-2 in this best of nine. And ladies and gentlemen, after a very strong start from Solar, it looks like now we have a very awesome series on our hands as Hydra manages to bring it back to level pegging.